Today marks the 24th annual USF Health Research Day at the University of South Florida Marshall Student Center. This year will showcase a record of 350 poster presentations from USF students, trainees, faculty, and staff across all four USF Health Colleges, as well as USF Health collaborators whose research focuses on the science of health. This is that time of the year, each year, that we are able to bring our graduate students, all of our trainees, which are in, uh, include residents and fellows, and faculty uh, in one location where they can share their research, highlight it, uh, certainly see what it means to present poster sessions and oral communications, and it ends up being just a great day. We've continued to have growth uh, with our research day. This year we have about 350 oral and poster communications, uh, and we anticipate that each year it will get bigger and better. Just really enjoy the day. I've been doing this now. This is my 13th research day. <clears throat> this is the 24th that we've had. And uh, it's just really rewarding to see the excitement that comes. And if you, you can obviously hear some of the activity that's going on in this room, it's just an exciting day. And to come over here and be part of this is, is, is as rewarding uh, to my work as I think anything that I do. Well, we, uh, we've seen tremendous growth in our research programs at USF Health. If you take a look at what's happened in the university, we've seen growth across campus. But interestingly, uh, USF Health is the major contributor. Uh, as a university, we've moved from uh, being in the top 100 to now being in the top 50 research universities in the country. I think our ranking is 43rd. Uh, we ended up uh, over the last decade being one of the most rapidly growing research universities in the country in relation to federal expenditures. So uh, we've had tremendous growth and it's just been rewarding to be part of that and I think that this kind of activity helps stimulate that interest. I work with respiratory syncytial virus and it's a virus that's prevalent throughout, that's very common throughout the world and it infects infants and young children and I'm working on how it interacts with the immune system. Well, I've always been interested in infectious disease, and when I came to this school from Northeastern University in Boston, I already had experience in clinical microbiology work, and mostly bacteria. And so I decided to take a different route and look at viruses, and so then I can round out my experience in infectious disease. It's um, not often that everyone in USF Health can come together and share all their different research and the posters are very helpful. We can all just walk around and look at what everyone's doing. We don't see each other every day in the lab, in each other's labs. We're nowhere near each other, different buildings throughout campus. So it's definitely a good experience once a year. I know people get excited for it. This year they started to um, require that we keep our posters up all afternoon. So I'm excited about that. I'll finally be able to walk around and and take a look at everyone else's research. This is actually my second year in the Masters of Public Health program. It's a bit nerve-wracking, but um, I got through it and I'm enjoying it and I'd truly love to do it again. Can you demonstrate it for me? Sure. So, uh, we would pull this string with wood up to, re to uh, represent the, you know, the tectonic plates crashing against each other and springing up and it'd make water a big, huge wave. And so these barriers would block the force of the tsunami underwater so that the tsunamis, when, by the time they hit shore, they are a lot, a lot less weak, like normal waves. With the 24th anniversary of Research Day, these scientists continue to acknowledge the importance and value of research to health and to the University of South Florida. Reporting for Spotlight Tampa, I'm Kelly Gonzalez.